Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to change the OneDrive location on Windows 11. Maybe you're running out of space on your current drive, or you just want to organize your files better. Whatever the reason, I've got you covered. Let's dive right in. First things first, we need to unlink your OneDrive account from its current location. Don't worry, we'll relink it later. Click on the OneDrive icon in the system tray at the bottom right of your screen. If you don't see it, you might need to click on the arrow to show the hidden icons. Click on the gear icon and select settings. In the account tab, click on unlink this PC. You'll see a confirmation prompt. Click unlink account to proceed. This will stop OneDrive from syncing, but your files will remain on your computer. Next, you'll have to quit OneDrive. Click on the OneDrive icon in the system tray again. Then click on the gear icon and click on quit OneDrive. Click on quit OneDrive again to confirm. Next, we need to move your OneDrive folder to the new location. Open File Explorer and navigate to the current location of your OneDrive folder. It's usually located in your C drive, the user's folder, then your username. Right click on your OneDrive folder and choose Cut. Navigate to the new location where you want to move your OneDrive folder. This could be another drive or a different folder on the same drive. Right click in the new location and select Paste. This might take a few moments depending on the size of your OneDrive folder. Now let's link your OneDrive account to the new location. Double click on your OneDrive folder. You'll be asked to set up OneDrive again. Sign in with your Microsoft account. Click on this tiny link that says Change Location. Then browse to the new location where you move your OneDrive folder and select it. Click on Use this folder. Click Next to complete the setup. OneDrive will now sync with the new folder location. And that's it! You've successfully changed your OneDrive location in Windows 11. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.